Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica Rovira, aka Beloved J, here with a tarot reading for you lovemates, <laughs> soulmates, twin flames, whatever you want to call it, divine unions, sacred unions, counterparts of the highest realm. I've got a little bit of a different setup today, so bear with me as it is a little bit odd not speaking to an actual camera. Um, so, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your love and support. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know if this reading resonates with you. I like to... Focus on what is needed in the moment, the energies of the moment, the guidance of the moment. So I let spirit guide me to what is needed most in these reads. I like to call upon the divine creator, Holy Spirit, before opening the reads, which I already did. But I also like to clear the energies with a singing bowl. So if you have headphones or ear pods in, I would suggest to lower the music down or lower the volume down for a moment while I clear the space with the singing bowl. Take a deep breath. Creator Holy Spirit for opening the space. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So, getting into the energies of the moment, what are the messages from Spirit? So, it says, What do you need to release and work through your fears? So, waning moon and new moon in Scorpio. What do you need to release and work through your fears? Maybe it's about releasing fear. Maybe there's fears from the past. Uh, fear of the past relationships that maybe have not worked out or, you know, fear of old patterns from your past past relationships showing up fear of moving out of your comfort zones oh okay let's see so that was from our moonology deck and this is a new deck I forget I'll put the descriptions of the decks on the bottom. Something's gonna happen on the full moon. We got a full moon on Friday, which is March 18th. Um, let me see. I believe the moon is in Aries, but I'm not positive. Um, full moon on the 18th in Libra, actually. So it's kind of transitioning from Virgo to Libra, but it says take time to relax, recharge, and replenish your inner strength. And we've got the Hermit in the Shadow attributes. It says withdraw for, withdraws from society out of fear or negative judgments of others refusing to help those in need. So um, with this full moon coming up, you know, Virgo is associated with the Hermit card in the tarot. So this can be a sign possibly like you might be feeling the need, whoever your person is over here, um, whether this is you or your person, you can flip flop the energies if you need to. Um, 
it says take the time to relax and recharge, but make sure if you're on this side over here, or if this is your person, you know, just make make a point that, um, you know, it's not withdrawing out of a place of fear right so that's the 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 connection here is withdraws from society out of fear or negative judgments of others so don't be withdrawing because of fear of having to face others or or fear of expressing yourself with someone and and fearing what their judgment is going to be towards you don't like hide from a situation or your person may be feeling the need to hide from you through this uh full moon or like leading up to the full moon um because they are fearing some sort of judgment from you um Man, these all came in the shadow. So hero or heroine, shadow attribute, escapism and false sense of heroism. I feel like you guys are both in escape mode. Um, wanting to escape uh, this these energies right now. There's a, there's a deep fear that is surfacing within the within you both. And I feel like you guys are both feeling this need to escape, escape from the connection, escape from reality, escape and withdraw from the external, especially your person over here. And then for you, I've got prostitute also in the shadow attribute says places material considerations and security above self empowerment. You know, look at this picture. She is or he right doesn't matter you can flip flop the energies this is non-gender specific it's more about the energy masculine feminine whatever it is this person is naked and they are covered in money you know if you are using like your sexual sexuality like sex working in order to pay right and uh, like it's like you place your material desires above your self-empowerment. You have the opportunity to accentuate the challenge of surviving without ne negotiating the power of your spirit. So it's like, you know, don't sell yourself short. Like if you are selling yourself sexually in a way that is demeaning your self-empowerment, this is an opportunity for you to actually find uh, something that is like use your use your power for something that's more positive, right? There could be a sense of fear here that is holding you back from actually stepping into your power and releasing whatever this is that is keeping you um, enslaved really because there's a fear of you of yours that you can't um, it's like maybe this has been your your form of material gain, your form of self-sufficiency, your form of substance material, you know, your your material income. And there's a fear of you letting go of that form of income because it's all you really feel like you know. And so spirit is encouraging you to find your passions out of your comfort zones which you know when you're in when you're going into that when you're walking away from something that is chaining you that is enslaving you it can feel kind of fearful right because this is in a sense all you know um it's time to recharge and, re and replenish and remember your inner strength remember your how powerful you truly are this says, seek solitude to focus intently on inner life, serves personal creativity. So I feel like your person needs to seek out time in order to find themselves, in order to really 
create something from a space of inner knowing, right? It's like this person needs to go on this spiritual soul journey and not retreat because they're afraid of what the other person or other people are going to say about them. You both are, look at you, you both are climbing this mountain individually. Spirit is telling you to find your passions for a journey of personal empowerment. There is that word again. Places material considerations and security above self-empowerment. Spirit is telling you to reach for that mountain no, ma no matter, reach for the top of that mountain no matter what this mountain is. Step out of your comfort zones. Climb the heights. Follow your passions to the top of that mountain because at the top is where you guys are going to meet each other, where you're going to actually see each other. And from a higher perspective, not from this lower this low vibe bullshit where you guys were in the shadows, right? Be the hero and the heroine of your own journey here and find each other at the top of this mountain. That's beautiful. All right, we're gonna go in a little bit deeper. Get some animal cards for you and your person. Sorry, like I'm really trying hard not to knock this thing over. So spirit, Lord, Oof, let's bear with me here. So it says sandpiper spirit. We've picked this one before multiple times. Be playful, but it's in the protection message. So there's a sense of your person definitely feeling super hermity and withdrawn. It's like, I feel like you want to play with this person. You might be even using your sexuality or your, um, yeah, your sensuality to draw them out of this hermity withdrawn place but spirit is telling you uh to rise above that need to use your sexuality to get what you want <laughs> um just be more playful it's like find some time to draw this person out with a playful yeah like Overcome this obstacle by getting into a playful energy. There, you know, your person might be, or, or just, you know, maybe give your person some space. Maybe that's what they're really needing right now is some space. And um, when they're ready to play, they'll come out of, you know, this hermit mode. But in the meantime, it's like you, you need to focus on this obstacle that's in front of you, whatever it is that this chain that I'm seeing, this um, yeah, it's like this sense of being trapped by the system and enslaved by this whatever it is that you know, something that is Maybe you are stepping out of your personal empowerment in order to do this job. And it doesn't have to be anything sexual either. It could be like, you know, just a specific form of income that you're just not into. You know, like you feel like you're um, really putting yourself out there and it's not something that you really are vibing with anymore and spirit is asking you to follow your passions like don't sell yourself short don't do something that you don't want to do whatever it is just because of the money that's what i'm trying to get at okay so it is going to be an obstacle right for you to overcome this chain that i'm seeing with this profession that is bringing you in material gain there's some sort of chain here that needs to be released that you will be able to overcome but right now it might not seem that way look at that shed old skin this is coming out for you my loves over here shed old skin this is regeneration this is the kundalini rising this is about finding that inner knowledge, that inner wisdom in order to be able to integrate and transcend and 
be reborn here, regenerated. That's healing. You're in a process of healing. So be, you know, gentle with yourself and, and believe that you will um, overcome these obstacles. Look at that card, how beautiful it is. Oh, sorry if there's a, a glare. I'm trying to get you guys to see the card. There you go. And for your person, you know, be playful. They need to maybe stop being so serious and withdrawn and really uh, set their sights a little higher, right? This is about stargazing. This is about realizing how powerful you truly are and sky's the limit. Also, don't sell yourself short for this person. Ugh, the reach. Sorry, guys. All right. Struggle's real. All right, here we go. Um, oh, this one came out when I was shuffling. You know, I always do my little pre-reads just to get the energies flowing and to do my own reads so I'm not focused on myself during your reading. <laughs> and that card came out as well. Uh, breathe the sun, presence, pineal activation, relax, let go. There's that word again, relax. Let go, relax. Just one more for, your, for you, that one's for your person. So spirit is telling your person to relax and let it go. There's going through uh, pineal activation. You're going through Kundalini rising. Your person's pineal gland is being activated. You guys are both being, you know, transformed and healed by spirit in this connection. Uh, you know, I don't really know what's going on in the connection yet between the two of you. So we'll find out more with the tarot cards. But uh, there is a mountain that you guys are climbing. And clearly you guys are climbing the same mountain here. So the mountain, I believe, is this connection. You know, maybe it's been a, quite the obstacle for the two of you. Ooh, especially if it's a twin flame. There go my cards, whatever. I'm gonna put these over here. Um, star connection, guidance from the stars, galactic self, unified field. Look at that. Beautiful star family star card and then we've got breathe the sun you can see it's like a, a turtle but it's like an island reminds me of the sun card but also um just like mother gaia and like nurturing you know longevity the the turtles are all about like you know they freaking live for hundreds of years and they're they carry their home on their back you know so Maybe this is going to mean that you, oh man, there's so many things. Look at that sense of family here. Um, maybe you guys will be building a family together. Fresh start. It says new opportunity, release the past. This is your second chance. Your person is give, being given a second chance. Um, kids, opinions, judgment, resolve family stress, get support. Now for some of you, not all, this can mean that, you know, you have a family and you have kids and, you know, maybe there's family stress that needs to be resolved here and you're going to get an opportunity to have that fresh start, that new opportunity to create some change, that second chance. Okay. Um, your person's being activated here. So there's some higher guidance here coming from your star family you guys are both being guided by your star family there is definitely a pineal activation here you guys are both receiving it
your person is wearing a false mask, okay? But with this pineal activation, it's coming off. They're being forced in this hermit mode. They're being encouraged. I'm not going to say forced. They're being encouraged by spirit to remove the false deceptions. To remove the mask. To be more playful. To create more opportunities to have a fresh start with you and your family if that's if that's what you have if this is a new person and you don't have a family with this person um this could be maybe they have uh family issues at home like you know in the in the ancestry tree maybe there's wounding from ancestral trauma you know your fam the family tree is something that may be uh blocking them there will be a resolution, conclusions and endings and um, results are in the future, are coming in from your person. Um, there's a sense of family and community between the two of you. Here's It says friendship, fun, a light heart enjoy downtime with friends and family so maybe in the meantime like if you are in a separation because you had a family together and something happened and there is this fresh start like a second chance to restart um and and you aren't together at the moment maybe you've been spending time you know having fun with friends and family in order to kind of forget about uh whatever's not forget just to pass the time right um but it's also saying friendship and fun, which, you know, this person's being told to be playful, to be more playful, to have more fun. So maybe this person feels like, let's say um, you guys just met or even if you guys are reuniting, um, this person, you know, could be you could be the one that brings like that playfulness, that friendship, that fun and that lightheartedness to your person, right? You're the lighthearted person that brings this fun, this joy, this um, playfulness and lightheartedness to them. Makes them, you know, kind of come out of their comfort zone, come out of their shell. But maybe for some of you right now, this person is, you know, teeter-tottering. I want in, I want out. I want in, I want out. I don't know. Anyways, drama, obstacles, you see, pettiness, find the strength to rise. So maybe your person, okay, I don't know if it's you or your person who's being petty. Sorry about the commercial right now. It's, that's the only one thing annoying about the music. But so just be, be sure that you're not the one that's creating the drama. Um, because there do seem to be some obstacles here. And I don't know if the obstacles are obstacles that are happening in your life or within the relationship, but I'm going to assume that it's happening within the relationship. You know, let's say you did have, you know, you were married or you have a family and you're separated and you have kids and that's been the obstacle is, you know, the fact that you guys are maybe divorced and going through a separation or whether it's separation or whatever. The, the point is, is that you're going through like custody battles, yada, yada, yada. Um, that's an obstacle that needs to over be overcome. Pettiness can definitely arise in that kind of situation, right? Um, so find the strength to rise above that. You're, you're being told here to find the strength to rise above that and overcome any obstacles that maybe your person might be bringing towards you, especially as they wear this false deception. Um, You're being encouraged to raise your vibration. It says energy and positivity. Raise your vibration to attract what you desire. Absolutely. There's no need to lower your standards and your vibration um, to gain the material aspects that you want. When you raise your vibration, the material aspects will come towards you. You won't need to sell yourself short or sell yourself in any type of way. So, 
Yes. The answer is yes. You will overcome these obstacles. You will be empowered by following your passions you will be guided from the stars you will find that unified field within yourself that connects you to your galactic self to your star family you will shed this old skin and be reborn it might be an obstacle you know you, you this mountain that you're climbing is not going to be an easy uh an easy feat or whatever <laughs> an easy it's gonna be an obstacle it's not gonna be easy okay all right here we go so i'm gonna get into the tarot so we can find out a little bit more about what's going on between you and your person i'm gonna go in with the illuminated uh at the real visions illuminated tarot look at this Someone is ready to fight for this connection, okay? Because this is a soulmate connection. This is, look at this, the two snakes coming into union, the kundalini's rising, the pineal gland activation. See, in, in the... In the yogic scriptures, they talk about the, the, the kundalini rising and the two snakes of Ida and Pingala that run alongside, we all have this, run alongside the shasumna, which is our spinal, our, our spinal column, okay? So our spine. And then we have the Ida and the Pingala, which are the masculine and the feminine energies. One's hot, one's cold. And where do they meet? They meet at the... Ajna, the third eye center. So this is that pineal activation that the Lumerian star, star seed cards are talking about. There is a pineal activation because you you both are having this balance and harmony being restored in the connection because it's coming through you balancing your own inner feminine and masculine, okay? You guys are fighting for this connection because you feel the soul connection on such a deep level. There is a lot of passion in this connection, but also a lot of harmony, a lot of emotions connected here, okay? If there was an injustice, this is the twin flame uh, soulmate card. It's, you know, this is the two halves, the one half of the four of wands, which is the 1111 card. And, you know, we have here justice. It's like this situation, which may have felt you may have felt a big injustification here, right? Especially if there was a separation and there like was a divorce. Um, if somebody left the family, left the home, there was an injustice here. But spirit is saying karma is being restored trust in your own inner wisdom and knowledge that the scales will be balanced truth will come in um it may be hidden from view at the moment but your divine uh counterpart whether it's divine masculine or feminine is on their way they are on their way they are ready for this fresh start, for this awakening, for this opportunity to rise above and to reconnect and to, uh, it's like whether, even if they, even if, if, even if it scares the shit out of this person, whoever is the one that's wearing the mask that needs to pull, put the mask down, take the mask down in order to come forward and come clean. Um, wow. Like, as scary as it may seem to them, they're going to do this because they want to bring this justice. They're fighting for this connection. 
I definitely feel like it's your person over here. Um, so let's get into energies of you shedding old skin. What is it that you're shedding? What is it that you need to rise above? So we've got the strength card. Um, maybe you're a Leo or some sort of fire sign or you just resonate with um, being able to find strength and courage and bravery even when you feel absolutely vulnerable. You know, she's sitting at the top of the lion's head. That's a very vulnerable position. You know, he at any time could bow his head, she could fall and he could gobble her right up, right? But she trusts that he's going to um, keep her sta stable, safe, protected. This also reminds me of the, our own inner beast that we sometimes need to tame, right? Rising above the obstacles that might um, make us feel defensive. So like if this person hurt you by leaving, there might be a feeling where you might want to like, you know, protect yourself and the inner beast comes out and says, no, you hurt me in the past. I can't let you in. And spirit is telling you, yes, you can. It's time to rise above that. Look at that. She's rising above the beast. Overcoming that obstacle overcoming that mountain you will get to the top of that mountain and at the top of that mountain is where you're going to meet your divine counterpart if you have not met or where you're going to reconnect with your counterpart if you have not met on the top of that mountain not in these low vibes okay that i want to continue to reiterate that it's about these high vibes and the high vibes are where at the top of that mountain okay I'm starting to lose my here we go okay so find the strength to rise above and rebirth yourself this is about finding the strength to shed your skin. Look at you, you got the hermit card as well. You guys are both on a solo journey at the moment. So maybe there is a separation um, or maybe you've been on that solo journey for a long time. Who knows how long the separation has been? It could be um, a short time. It could be, could have, yeah, they're, yeah. yeah. Um, for some of you, it's not been a long time. For others, it's been a really long time. Um, for some of you, I feel like you've just been on a solo journey and you're not reconnecting with an old person from the past. You're possibly on your journey to, to meeting a new person. Um, there is definitely movement. There is definitely an opportunity for even travel, uh, going overseas, moving states, loca relocating, moving house, traveling with your person. Um, but this is about being victorious and overcoming your obstacles. The chariot is you know, look at all of these obstacles. Like, it's like this person, oh, chilly, no, baby. Sorry, my cat, of course. Opens my door, knocks over my stand. No, 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 I can't leave my door unlocked. Why would I be able to do that, guys? <laughs> man you see and i had it so perfect like where you could see the cards ideal meal there's chili say hi to the destroyer <laughs> okay whatever hope i hope you guys can see all right 
chariot overcoming obstacles this is someone who is literally look how powerful she is she's rising above all of these barrier this these this is like a wall of barriers she's got control over all of them her so her solar plexus her manipura is beaming out light because it is so powerful she is so empowered where once she was feeling disempowered and and choosing material gain over empowerment this person you are rising above that and completely standing in your power so beautiful i love to see that let's find out what's going on with your person set your sights high oh baby i know just please don't knock over my thing again okay page of pentacles i think your person is coming in with some sort of apology communication a message about wanting to offer you something solid the six of wands this person wants to be victorious um this is victory success triumph I feel like this person wants to be publicly recognized with you or maybe um, like if it's a new connection and you guys have not been out in public together. This is I feel like somebody who's wanting to shift the energy. They want to flaunt you. They want to, you know, take you on this ride so they can like. I don't know, show you off to their friends, their family. <laughs> yes, like this person. First of all, this is this is the apology here. This person is coming in with the communication and they are wanting to apologize for whatever they did to leave. And you know, this this injustice, this deception. This person is coming in to fight for you. They want a fresh start. This person will apologize. This person is 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 hoping to be victorious and publicly recognized with you. Okay? Um I just heard this person wants their family back. Oh. Okay. I like that. So they're they're willing to take the mask off, okay? That's that's what's important here. Is that they're not willing, but they're ready to take the mask off. It's coming off, guys. All right. Anything else for this person over here? Ooh, look at that. For those of you who don't know me, I don't really like reversals. I always take them into consideration when they come out on the reverse, but I like I focus more on the energies that are present here. I don't feel like okay, maybe at the moment this person is having a hard time communicating and that's, you know, that's very apparent here with the hermit card, okay? With the deception card, this person like might be just really torn how they're going to come at you because they deceived you or they lied to you or they were wearing a mask and they know that they were. So this person right now is not in a place of communication because the sword is facing down, right? Where there is an injustice, this person wants to bring balance and justice and, and balance the situation out, but maybe at the moment they are not capable of communicating for some reason. We're gonna find out why. <laughs> um, but this communication is coming. This epiphany is coming. I'm going to find out why the, you know, that communication is on hold right now. This person does want like that family, that commitment, that long term with you. I just feel like. It 
it's like they have this real negative uh, outlook about themselves. I feel like this person tends to um, like just really bring like think think low of themselves, right? Super serious and um, kind of moody and withdrawn and almost self-loathing at times. And it's like, I feel like um, it's, it's in connection to these fears, right? These fears of being judged by others. But it's because they're wearing a mask. They, like they're hiding something and lying to themselves about, about, about their truth, about their reality, right? The, this person could have a, a problem with identity issues, right? Where, where maybe they're realizing that they've been wearing this mask for so long that without the mask, they don't know who they are. And so that's why spirit is really asking them to sit with themselves and like go on this spiritual journey to find their true self, to really um, like connect with their inner spirit so that way they can realize that, uh, oh yeah. That they are the hero or the heroine of their own story, right? You are the hero of your story. And there's somebody waiting for you. Your soulmate is waiting for you at the top of this mountain. And this could be a connection from a past life, like a past life love. Something that feels faded. You know, the red string of fate. Something that could have been asleep for a really long time, either years or lifetimes. This person is coming to some sort of truth. Uh, you know, they there might not be communication at the moment, but I believe this person is going to communicate with you. Follow your intuition. You are so powerful and so magical. You have so much uh, knowledge and wisdom within. This is communication right here. You need to remain silent until this person comes to you to communicate. This person will come and communicate their truth to you. But right now, they may be in these energies where they, they're, they're retreating. Give them the time and the space to come forward because they will. This person wants to balance out, bring balance to the connection, be victorious. And it's because they're feeling the soulmate connection. This is past life, soulmate, requited love. You guys feel like you've met your match, okay? Here you are, Queen of Cups. You know, maybe your person is a little bit more... Um, on the logical side and you're more on the emotional side you know like maybe your form of communication is very emotional and not very emotional but just more tuned into your emotions more tuned into your intuition whereas your person thinks more from logic okay so that could be a reason why um you know there may have been some and discrepancies in the past. Uh, it could even be the fact that this person self-sabotaged, your divine masculine self-sabotage, whether it's female or male, doesn't matter, right? Someone self-sabotaged self the connection by, um, uh, this is very uh, player energy, uh, whether it's player or playette, you know, somebody in and out having um, options, right? Like balancing, or juggling two people at once uh and maybe that's what fucked up the connection self-sabotage you know this is like 
betrayal, lies, um, man, not cool. But guess what? Like I said, the truth is coming. It will be revealed. There will be a reconciliation here. This is going to be an opportunity for you guys to resurrect the connection. Whether this is from the past in this lifetime or the past in a past lifetime. You know, how do you know if it's somebody from your past in your past lifetime? It's because you just met this person and you feel an, an immediate connection with this person and you're like oh my god how do i feel like i know you but like i we just met that's because you knew them in a past life okay so that could be the situation here or it could be potentially somebody from your past you know this is about commitment solid foundations long term legacy You know, this is the solid home, the solid family, the solid career, the solid relationship. And transformation, new beginnings. There is an opportunity here to transform the connection and resurrect it out of love not fear there is a deep deep soul recognition here and you are being guided by spirit by your star family um towards this reconciliation towards this transformation so you know, if this is somebody, if you're thinking, oh no, I don't want that person from the past, then guess what? You're That's not your person. You're gonna receive somebody new. If you don't want the person from the past, then don't sit here and focus on the person from the past coming. This is a new person coming and it's gonna be a past life connection that you're gonna feel so deeply connected to and all of that bullshit betrayal and the lies and the deceit all happened in the past and you won't have to deal with that in this in this lifetime but it's also saying be careful because you might resort back to that past life karmic uh, energy when you meet this person so really you know, stand firm in your power, be empowered. Don't resort to that past life. Uh, maybe this prostitution or this, you know, selling of yourself was in a past life. You know, it didn't happen in this life. And so you know, this is spirit saying, know your past so that you can transcend it. You know, we're reconciling and rebirthing this connection, transforming it. This is not resurrecting the old past bullshit that left you hurt and betrayed and 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 feeling like you needed to sell yourself and enslave yourself, right? Or hide away and, you know, be in this fear, right? In this lack. This is not what spirit is resurrecting here. Spirit is resurrecting this connection for it to be transformed. So if it is somebody from your past in this life, then this person is coming in transformed. They're not coming in with the same old bullshit. Now, like if you're still sitting there thinking, oh, well, I don't want that person from the past, then this is, I'm saying it again, not who you are going to receive. You're going to receive a new person that is a past life soulmate, twin flame connection that is new and that you've had this connection with in the past. You will not have to repeat it unless you want to, right? Unless you want to, that is your choice, that is your willpower. But if you are wanting your person from the past and you've been waiting forever guess what this person is being resurrected into your life and they are transformed they are not going to be in the same bullshit energies of this betrayal okay of this self-sabotage of that um juggling and playing and you know being that player that is juggling and hurting people that's not who this is okay so discernment yes you are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion exactly exactly the truth is going to be revealed here we've already seen that 
Discernment is coming. You are already being asked to let go of fear. What do you need to release? Fear. What do you need to embrace? Love. Truth. Let go of illusion. So this is saying you will find truth from the illusion. So the illusion is, is that there's fear all surrounding, right? Because of this past energy, this past life or this past energy of betrayal and self-sabotage. Well, you are coming to a place of discernment where you are being able to distinguish the difference between love and fear and truth from illusion. So you won't have to worry about being deceived. You won't have to worry about being betrayed. You won't have to worry about any of those past behaviors because they have been closed out by spirit. You have learned the lesson. And if you haven't, you're learning it. It's going to happen. You will transcend this. You will transform. Your person has transformed. If this past person, the one that you think you want, comes back in and, and, and is in those past energies, guess what? That's not your person. That's the illusion. The illusion is, is that you think that that's your person and it's not. Now, if this person from your past that you're wishing and wanting and hoping for comes back and they are transformed and they're showing you over time, how transformed they are and you see with your own eyes you feel with your own heart how transformed they are then this is your person when i'm patient i let the universe do for me what i cannot do for myself the universe is always conspiring to support me Guide me and lead me compassionately toward the highest good. There it is. Heat, I'm sorry, deep cellular healing, Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing, deep energetic healing, emotional healing. Hmm, beautiful. This is that pineal activation, that kundalini rising, that vibration, that frequency that <clears throat> is being reactivated learning how to be human in the world but not of it yeah for some of you you guys are just like i'm so over this human life this human reality bullshit <laughs> i hear you okay oh man where to start with like honestly i feel like everything has been left um said i'm not going to even go into the descriptions today i'm just going to go ahead and close out with an outcome um if anyone i'll read is this one the discernment okay because i feel like i need to read that but we're just going to do some outcome with the twin flame deck see what our outcome is but spirit is telling you to be patient especially over here um your person will communicate with you your person actually really deeply loves you they just probably have not communicated it to you yet because it's either too early in the relationship or because this person um left and has not returned since they left okay uh balance yin and yang darkness and light stay centered in your higher self didn't we already hear that somewhere similar where it says guide me and lead me compassionately toward the highest good this is saying stay centered in your highest self uh, highest self yin yang balance darkness and light we saw the justice card balance yin yang balance harmony justice bring the light to the darkness this is your sacred journey. Understand who you truly are. This journey brings self-discovery. 100% your person is in that space right now. And so are you. 
You guys both received the Hermit card. You guys are both on a soul spiritual journey. This sacred journey of discovery, of self-discovery, of finding yourself. There will be an offer. Yes, there will be an offer, a gesture, an engagement, a wedding. Rejoice in your union. Remember, whatever you're thinking of that you don't want, that's not what you're going to receive. Whatever it is that you do want, that's what you will receive. Keep that in, your, in the forefront of your mind, what it is that you want to receive. You want to receive a gesture of love, an engagement, a wedding. Rejoice in your union. Yes, it's for you. It's time to receive. What? Receive this offer. Yes. Yes, I'm ready to receive. Receive what? This offer. Yes. Stay open-minded, abundant, ready. It's your time to receive. So for those of you who have been in a, in a relationship that has just been like, you're like, oh, I just give, I just give, I just give, I just give, I just give. Well, guess what? Get ready to receive because you will be receiving. Yes, you will. So discernment. One of the hardest lessons to grasp while living in the physical dimension is the art of discernment. Life is a series of choices and you always want to make the right one for your soul's evolution. Discernment is not judgment. Discernment is living your life with a recognition of what is in alignment with your unique path. When you are centered in your being and are aware of your own power, you are able to see the love and truth in everything and everyone. Intuition is the language of your soul, so it is imperative that you understand how your soul speaks to you. Intuition, the high priestess and the queen of cups. This is a very intuitive person over here. Okay, so use that to your benefit. It says, and the best ways for you to do so is to listen. When you utilize discernment in your daily life, choices become easier and manifesting the best possible outcome doesn't seem like a matter of chance. The wonderful Shakespeare adage, to thine own self be true, encapsulates discernment perfectly. Remember, what seems important to you may not be to someone else. So when you use discernment, understand that it is for your own benefit and growth and what is beneficial to you on your path to self-acceptance ripples out outward to those around you when you know yourself love yourself and honor who you are you become aligned with your divine self when this happens you attract only good into your life yes yes a hundred times yes all right i'm gonna close out with these affirmation cards let's get one more Today I am powerful. Today my potential to succeed and conquer challenges is limitless. Yes, that so goes with this obstacles card, which I feel like I'm going to need to read too. Um, today I am kind. Today I will make this day count. I will do something kind for someone. Very nice. Okay. Just the... Rhino, 50. Says, may we always have the chance. Okay, hold on. Let me do this. May we always have the chance. I'm sorry, have the choice to press ahead. And Rhino Spirit Strength offers you the power to break through stubborn obstacles. This animal spirit knows there is more than one way to open a path to what you seek. When Rhino Spirit appears, you are reminded that you have a marvelous ability to overcome obstacles in multiple ways. By going around them, shattering them with the force 
of clear deliberate intentions or even transforming them into clouds that drift away by refusing to allow them to limit you apply your rhino spirit with creativity and no obstacle can stand for you have magic to make and many ways in which to make it your power is awesome right now rhino spirit also wants to remind you that when an obstacle appears to prevent you from getting what you desire today it means that something much better is coming okay let me add to that so for those of you who are like oh no i don't want that person from the past well guess what it's because you've got someone new much better for you suited for you coming towards you allow that person into your heart awesome and then it says uh, keep that in mind when you consider the nature of the obstacle in front of you now great spirit loves you so much and only wants the best for you all right y'all that's where it ends um oh gosh oh the moonology work through your fears i guess new moon in scorpio let's do it this card suggests a rebirth. Oh my God. And you know what? That is exactly what this card is all about. What both of these cards are all about. Okay. It says, think of your situation as the Phoenix that's rising from the ashes as the birth, death, rebirth paradigm paradigm that's what Scorpio energy is all about. Whatever you've been through, there's a new start ahead. It might be a little dark. It almost certainly won't be rainbows and unicorns, but it will be deep transforming, deep and transforming. This card also suggests that if you know you are magical, then this is the time to work through, time to work your magic. Very magical card right here. Very magical being right here, the high priestess. It can also herald the start of a sexier time if you've been experiencing something of a drought and emotional intimacy is also on the menu. Like I said, there is deep passion, not only passion, but there's also love here. Okay. Deep love. So not just might you get some sexier times and, and, and have some actual passion in this connection or come to you from this connection. You're also going to have some kind of emotional intimacy on the menu as well. Scorpio is the sign that likes to go deep into body, mind, and spirit. So when this card comes up, there's nothing superficial about what's coming your way. Like I said, the, the person that's coming your way is like the real effing deal okay not this past bullshit that you've been uh, accustomed to so put your guard down like put your guard down time to let go of a grudge you're holding move on from jealousy stop being obsessive could it be you're being paranoid make an investment it says Scorpio is the sign of death and rebirth, magic and shamans. Its energy is a little bit dark, occult, and even scary. Not all of us like to face the shadow, but Scorpio demands it. In fact, it's through working through your dark side that you can get to the light. And the new moon in Scorpio and the appearance of this card at any other time suggests you need to do that now. So maybe this person from your past was somebody who triggered your shadows and guess what you're so strong now you're so gonna stand in your power like uh, you're ready to face those those shadows because like you've done the work so you're like yeah whatever I've been there I've done that like I I had this energy in the past I, I've I'm rising above it you can't like you can't knock me down from my freaking lion over here from my beast of an energy over here nope not happening this love is being resurrected transformed just trust and be patient all right y'all have a great one love and light